comfortable in your own skin and is between the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Oregon State Beavers. And both teams take the field. This one could stay close for a while, but it seems like it ought to be a fairly comfortable win in the end. I look for both of these teams to come out playing strong, but when it's all said and done, I think the talent disparity here is just going to be too big. The and the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 27. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they got him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Right now, this quarterback, when he's calling play action, is doing a good job of selling the run fit. He's not tipping his hand at all that it's a play-action pass. He's doing a good job of selling the run fake, which is getting the defense out of position and making it much easier to throw the football. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 39. Close to nine-yard pickup there on the slant. Second and short. Ball on the 39. They'll work the right side. Nice run to the outside. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you could continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. From the 32-yard line. First down. the 29 yard line well if you want to ruin a drive just grab a hold of a defender's jersey it's first down and a lot hit before he could go anywhere. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Anderson is looking to stay perfect on this drive, and he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He chucks it downfield. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. Gaines is back awaiting the punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 20. to pass tries to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted 
He's tackled at the 29. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. side they'll bring him down at about the 21 Jackson gets eight yards on the play that makes it second and two it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks and he's tackled at about the 19 yard line Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Again with a carry. And they get nice yardage on that run. The offense here picks up the first down by running the football. And I really think that they gave the quarterback there an option at the line of scrimmage to run or to pass, depending on what he saw from the defense. The defense that time looked to be out of position. I think they were anticipating a pass. Quarterback recognized that, made the check at the line, and they were able to run the football for a first down. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Drops back to pass. He zips it out to the right. Got a man open. Touchdown. play ever developed nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch they got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern oregon state is up by six he makes the pat a four play 22 yard drive and they put up seven points so our score 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He hits a booming kick. He's to the 10. They'll bring him down to the 27-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 27. Second and six. Ball on the 31-yard line. Rutherford with the option. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. Third down. He's brought down in the open field. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. run the option and down he goes around the 45 yard line pretty good defense there on the option they'll stop him for a loss of one from their own 45 yard line second down they'll work the left 
He gets out to about the 44-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0, Beavers. Third down again. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From the 33-yard line, first down. Drops to throw on first down. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 15. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Hand off to the right. Touchdown! Hit! Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread. And people expect offenses to, to spread you out and throw the football all day, but I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now, what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. We get a tie game at 7-7. This drive will start at the 27-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Second and 11. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. They hand it off. Robinson makes the tackle. Runs it left for a decent game. Jackson gets six yards on the carry. They're about four yards away here on third down. Snags that one. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Anderson on the option left side, and he is drilled at the 46-yard line. 
He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. And they'll run him again. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 37. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. the middle. Jackson gains about five yards on the run. From the 32-yard line. Second down. He's looking to pass. Gets it out quick and it's going the other way. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Touchdown, Panthers. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. Pittsburgh up six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He's hit and taken down. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. But the great safeties are almost like a center fielder roaming back in the back, just reading the quarterback's eyes. Here he does a really good job of seeing where the quarterback wants to go with the football, getting a very good jump on it, and simply not getting it away from the receiver. Sheds one tackler. Runs it right. Nice pickup. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Gives it up the gut. Up the middle for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. He drops back. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring They'll line it up six. again on third down. And they got him for a loss. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. Fourth down. Gaines is back deep to return the punt. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. They'll take over at the 24. Pittsburgh is up by a touchdown. He drops back. Gets it out in a hurry. It falls incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 24. Hey. 
and he lays out for that one. He's tackled at the reception at the 36-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. Wants to go long and does. Doesn't get there. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Looks to pass. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. A seven-yard play. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Tackle made at about the 45. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He heaves it deep. Missed him. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hands it off on the delay. And he's tackled at the 36. That draw to the running back was good for nine yards. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up. It hits the crossbar and bounces through. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. And he tackles him hard at the 26-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 17-7, Panthers. The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start this second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's review some of the action from the first half. And they'll be going for their third touchdown of the game. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Rutherford drops to throw. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. Yeah, I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 39. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 39-yard line, second down. to pass here comes the pressure and he's hit immediately that's good for a gain of eight yards that'll make it third and one
And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Defense looked like it jumped early. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. incomplete trying to get it to his receiver the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion they've been two for two on third downs in this drive and they'll try to convert again here and he's level at the 40 but the defense is fired up responding and reacting to that sack not only do they get the quarterback but they hit him and hit him hard I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Fourth and long here after the sack. Lee to punt. And he's tackled at the 29. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Rose finds the junior at the 40. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. They'll go with the option. He's taken down at the 13. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes, if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. It's first down and a lot. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. No game. That'll make it second and long. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Again with a carry. Makes it out to about the 19. This flag came from the umpire, and that means this is probably holding. Penley drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Great concentration. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Anderson drops to throw. Quick strike, and he drops it. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position.
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Back to pass. Quick toss. Makes the grab and steps out right away. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Get him for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Second and 13. Ball on the 39 yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. third down and they need to get it inside the 47. Inside handoff. Tackle around the 47 yard line. It was still a quality run. I like the fight the offense showed in earning those yards. Three down and one to go. Pittsburgh's got a 10-point lead. Lee is waiting for the snap. They're ready to begin another drive. He's looking to pass. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Drops back to pass. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First and ten. Ball on their own 44. He drops back. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 48. And they hit him in the backfield. That was a loss of three yards. That'll make it 39. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. He drops back. 
He's hit and taken down. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. From the 44-yard line, first down. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and, eight. and this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going to air it long. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. They line up at the 13. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 14-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 17. And it's caught. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line. So they get about four yards from play action. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And down he goes at the 48. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. He hustles the troops to the line. That makes it second and two. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Looking to pass here on third and short. He fires, and it's incomplete. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down inbounds. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Nice run up the middle. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Way to look it in. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Looking to throw. He fires left side. They're calling an audible. First down. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. 
This is the 10th play of this drive. And a quick throw. The five. Big, big touchdown through the air. And now it's a one-score game. To draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. Pittsburgh is up a field goal. On the ground, up the middle. He's at the 30, and they make the stop around the 24-yard line. Oregon State will take their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. It's second and 12. Ball on the 26. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 17-14, Pittsburgh. The Beavers, 14. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Oregon State had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. EA Sports congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. So that Thank wraps things up for us. Game. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.